How's it going everybody? My name is AH Money, and today we're gonna to be playing some multi-team hardpoint with exclusive judge HD, and he's gonna be knocking out a solo 190 plus on the map slums. And this was easily a 250 plus fail. Like he got so freaking close to his second set of streaks at least two or three times, and either his swarm killed him or he got jizzed by Treyarch. So this was definitely a 200 plus fail, in my opinion, a 250 plus fail because his score streaks definitely went into work. Now, when you guys go check out his channel, you guys are gonna see some other Black Ops 2 gameplays, 100 pluses, high gun streaks, just a wide variety of gameplays, but he also does his own commentaries, so which is very interesting. Most pub stompers don't do their own commentaries, so that's definitely something different. You guys should go check him out. He's pretty close to 300 subscribers, so you guys can hopefully get him there and then tell him that AH Money sent you, along with AH Elite. So in terms of a commentary, what I wanna to talk to you about are blockbusters and when I mean blockbusters I mean those games that we anticipate for an entire year just for these games to come out now when I give you guys a commentary I don't want you guys to think that most of the games I'm talking about suck but they do have I guess a lackluster appeal to them after a few months of being out and my prime example is going to be Watch Dogs do you guys remember Watch Dogs I personally really enjoyed Watch Dogs, but Watch Dogs was one of those games where I waited forever for that game to come out, for me to play it, not even finish the campaign, and head back to Call of Duty. Now, there was a little bit of traffic in terms of live streams, and maybe some people even posted some Let's Plays on their channel, but other than that, there is a multiplayer to Watch Dogs, and that hasn't taken off whatsoever. At least I understand. I haven't seen it on YouTube at all. But that was one of those games to where I thought it was going to be this really big game. It was going to be the next GTA 5. Maybe not knock GTA 5 out of its running to be, you know, the number one guy in that area, but definitely a good number too. And then we also have Titanfall. You guys remember the game Titanfall? There's not too many people posting Titanfall. You see it sprinkled around YouTube every so often, but it's definitely not a headliner. No one headlines Titanfall on their channel. And once again, I have Titanfall on the Xbox One. It is actually the only reason I purchased an Xbox One. I've been a PlayStation person my entire life since I was a teenager all the way to an adult. You know, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and Titanfall actually made me go purchase an Xbox One. So that should let you know how interested I was in that game. Now, Titanfall is not a bad game. It doesn't have the same appeal that a Call of Duty would say a Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3 but it doesn't have that appeal and then other blockbuster games say GTA 5 I think GTA 5 is maybe the only blockbuster within the last five years to really live up to the hype that was expected from the game and when I say hype I mean when you say a blockbuster we'll go ahead and say Black Ops 2 Black Ops 2 did really, really good numbers, broke records and everything, but in terms of the community playing it and posting it and enjoying the game, it did okay, but in terms of enjoying it, I don't think it was you know, all that. But with GTA 5, everyone was really anticipating that game, it came out, everyone enjoys that game, you don't really get any negative reviews, no one on YouTube said that, you know, the game is poop, but you know, it's out, so we gotta play it. It wasn't one of those kind of blockbusters, it was a blockbuster that actually lived up to the hype. And I think Watch Dogs lived up to the hype for about, you know, a month, two months. And Titanfall lived up to the hype for about mm, a month, two months. But I don't think that the games are actually the problem. This is what I find to be the problem. Outside of Call of Duty Ghosts, I would consider Call of Duty Ghosts to be a blockbuster. And universally, it's just a shitty game. And we already know the, the backstory to that. But we're going to move on to future blockbusters. And what I foresee for blockbusters. I don't think us as a video game community were capable of being pleased. And that is because games since I was a little child have really changed from me being an adult and being a gamer and what you guys come to expect from a game. For example, I'd buy a game when I was a younger adult or a teenager or a child and it wasn't supposed to be that great of a game. It was just supposed to be something to keep me entertained for the time being and then I'd move on to another game. But nowadays, games are a lot more expensive than they were when I was a kid. So when you buy a game, you expect that entertainment value to be there. But then you have those blockbuster games where you expect more than entertainment value. You want to be able to play this game for the next two years if need be. The only game for me that was like that was Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2, Modern Warfare 3. I really used to love that game. Like I know like the fuck out of Modern Warfare 3. I loved that game. Watch Dogs was pretty good for like the month, two months I, I played it. But then 
you have all these other blockbusters simultaneously coming out and of course we have destiny and everyone is really really looking forward to destiny and is destiny going to be the cod killer is it going to be the titanfall killer probably not but i think it's in a whole different realm since it's not necessarily a first person shooter to what is it mmo rpg i think it is but it's going to be a different realm and i really foresee destiny maybe being the closest game within the last few years to actually live up to the hype and people to actually post it on their channel and for the community to fall in love with it and i kind of see it as like a final fantasy for some reason not not another halo even though the same people made that game i see it acquiring kind of a final fantasy following and that'll be really good because blockbusters nowadays like i said you expect so much but at the same time there's so many other blockbusters coming out simultaneously that maybe this game is good for a month or two months but hey now this game is going to come out for example Watch Dogs and then after Watch Dogs came out people were like okay what's the next thing oh Destiny's going to come out let's hop on the alpha and the beta and then move forward with that but hopefully we aren't the ones you know killing these games because maybe they are good but maybe we just expect way too much from the developers and we don't really know what we want so that's all for that let me know what you guys think down in the comment section definitely go check out AH exclusive judge HD he's got other black ops 2 gameplays you should definitely be watching I'll catch you guys next time AH money out